Henrietta, I wanted to ask you more on Italy as well, but let's start with the banks. You still like the banking sector, but what areas specifically in investment grade? Um, so we've had an interesting year in, in investment grade. It's been quite a tough year in investment grade, given where yields um, started at the beginning of the year. Um, and um, you know, we're still in a context in Europe where yields are low. We talked about the 10-year the German Bund just earlier. Um, over the course of the year, spreads have widened um, as the markets have had to deal with Italy, um, had to deal with also the tapering that uh, the ECB is doing in the background. Um, and I'd say that's probably impacted triple B credits uh, quite a bit. We've seen uh, more widening there um, than any, any other rating band um, over, the, over the course of the year. Um, so so a couple of reasons why um, you know, we still like financials in, the, in, in Europe. Mm. Um, it's one of the sectors that um, is improving to, um, in terms of fundamentals, or at least stable. Um, and it's also one of the areas where the ECB has not been buying so mm. much yeah. as other, yeah. other credit. Henrietta, sorry to jump in, Jules. Just City have been saying that almost 80% of Euro IG bond funds trailing the benchmark this year. How are you getting alpha? Um, it's been a tough year because um, if you traded one month uh, in a particular direction, it, it, it has a tendency to reverse uh, uh, over the next. Um, and taking into account liquidity, uh, moving around a fixed income portfolio um, at that kind of speed is, is tricky. Um, so areas um, you know, that we're focusing on at the moment to generate alpha is stock picking. Um, and I think that's, uh, uh, that, that's going to be key, particularly in years to come, uh, as well as we get a bit more of a tightening environment um, driven by, at the moment, the US um, on, the, on the Fed fund side. If we get back to Italy and the ongoing budget discussions, it is likely to prompt a raft of downgrades. You're saying we could get downgrades from Moody's, from S&P. Mm -hmm. How manageable are these going to be in terms of selling out here? Yeah. Um, so you've got a review of Italian debt over the next couple of weeks, um, both by S&P and by Moody's. Uh, we're expecting a downgrade, but we're expecting um, the Italian debt to stay in investment grade territory. That's the important bit mm. um, for Italian debt, is being able to stay um, on the investment grade side. And I don't think at this point um, the rating agencies are, are ready to go any further. So. Yes, you'll be on the lower rug mm. um, for at least one of the rating agencies at triple B minus, um, so it's not great. Mm. Um, but um, it doesn't mean that Italy is going to drop out of main indices or um, sovereign mandates, for yeah. instance. Henrietta, I know you cover investment grade, but are there actually some better opportunities in high yield or even in private credit markets? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that, that's something uh, that, that's fair. Um, yeah, even though I'm looking after investment grade, um, I think in the sub-investment grade space, uh, particularly in the loans space, um, because you've got a floating rate asset class, you've got some spread, um, and um, you haven't had quite as much froth as in the US market, for instance, in the European loan market. Um, so that is an area to, to look at and that investors are looking at at the moment.